One of Britain's most depraved child killers, Ian Brady, has died after a lifetime behind bars. He was 79. The man responsible for the notorious Moore's murders had been receiving end-of-life care at Ashworth High Secure Hospital. Our chief correspondent, Richard Gaysford, is there. Richard, uh, Ian Brady, one of the great monsters of our lifetime, certainly, probably many lifetimes. Uh, he left, of course, some huge unanswered questions, never bringing any solace to some of the families of the people that he uh, brutally murdered. Yes, that's right, Piers. He'd spent more than 30 years inside the secure unit Ashworth Hospital and for all of his time in custody had remained largely silent. Back in 1987, he was taken from here back up to Saddleworth Moor. Uh, the hope was that he would show officers exactly where two of his victims had been buried. Myra Hindley, his accomplice, was also taken onto that moor at that time. And, yes, they discovered the body of Pauline Reed, Reed but not the body of Keith Bennett. And we understand from the Press Association Pearson Susanna, that in his dying hours, police came here to Ashworth Hospital to try and get the location of that grave from him. But Ian Brady waved them away. And now we understand that he has been taken, his body has been taken away from this place to a mortuary by private ambulance.